Hi guys, I'm back in Vietnam. Missed the coffee, missed the sweltering heat, you know, after being in Greece for the last few months. It's good to be back, um, packing, getting my bike ready for a world tour uh, setup. Now, um, for this is for the people who are interested in um, doing a mix. Like, more and more bike packers are adding panniers and more and more cycle tourists are adding um, bike packing equipment. So, I haven't seen many videos online um, showing how they're packing. Uh, there's no right or wrong way to pack. That's, that's the honest truth. I mean, but when I look at a few people who are doing cycle touring and how they're packing, to me, it's like, it just doesn't make sense the way they're doing it, but that's how they want to do it and that's fine. Whatever way you guys want to do it, do it. This is just how I'm doing it. Like, I've seen people where they would have a spanner in the front, they would have some tools here, they would have some tools there. For me, I need to have everything organized so I can actually remember where everything is. And this setup is that, exactly that. Um, so, each bag has a purpose. Um, if it's camping gear, or if it's clothes, or if it's um, drones, every bag has one purpose. Um, so, this is my setup. Um, I'll just go over it roughly. Um, this is not the long version, it's going to be the short version. Um, so if you're interested in world tour, full setup, hybrid bike packing setup, this is it. Um, start off with the front, uh, gimbal, um, iPhone, or sorry, uh, GoPro and a gimbal. Um, to record your video on the way. Water bottle, easy to reach. Some our supernova light running from a sun hub, okay, so Dyna Hub. Um, supernova light working out well for the last year. Uh, my GPS is basically my phone running Motion X uh, software. So far, five years, six, um, almost six years using an iPhone and an app called Motion X. It's never got me lost. It's, it's really good, all right, so it works for me. This little pouch here is where I keep my glasses and my backup. So my backup, uh, my glasses, sunglasses, which are also my GPS. You can download all the maps to the glasses, heads up display. It's also got all my music, um, and it also takes photos and videos. Basically an unbelievable piece of gadget. Um, so that's my Eversight. I have a waterproof battery, don't need to hide it anywhere, okay? It's running off the solar panel, so during the hot countries, this is powering away my battery, uh, waterproof battery. Even if it does rain, doesn't matter. This is what you call waterproof, this battery. Um, then on the front still, I've got my sleeping bag. Now, this is four season setup, guys. Um, and when I mean four seasons, I mean fully supported four seasons. I, I'm not phoning home and saying, can somebody send me a winter sleeping bag? Can somebody send me a winter tent? Can somebody send me or send summer stuff back because you're hitting cold weather? This is all fully supported um, without making phone calls, trying to ship stuff back. Everything's on the bike. I need to do a world tour. So sleeping bag, um, pretty warm down, down to minus 18 Celsius. So, um, and it's got a big sip, so if it is hot in hotter countries, I just open up the sleeping bag. Um, then, I just attach, that's my bike bag, dude. Then here is where I'm gonna keep my Nicks and Knacks, the top tube bag. It's also my bike bag, dude. These bags are waterproof, 100% waterproof. Here, I just keep like general stuff like a uh, mosquito net, a little uh, backpack, one of those uh, Sea to Summit backpacks. Um, my camera uh, for taking videos and uh, photos and a little battery bank to charge the camera while I'm not using it um, and a little tripod. So that's all in here. Then here <clears throat> I keep basically tools all this section, all my tools, all my um, brake pads, my cables, uh, spur nuts, spur bolts, everything is in this section. So if I have a breakdown, I can reach for this, this is where everything's kept. Plus it's a heavier object, so it's always good to keep inside the frame. On the other side, I have Camelback um, bladder. It's a 1.5 liter, plus I hold another three liters, so that's four and a half, and plus I have another two liters with a filter um, in here. So basically all my water, and I, I believe it's about 
five and a half to six liters I can carry at one time on this here frame. Then at the back here, this top tube bag, I keep basically my first aid kit, so I'm covered. Okay. The rear is the tent, but I also keep in here a jacket for um, uh, what do you call it? It's like um, say it's foggy, a high fizz jacket um, is in here, and it's easy to reach for rain jacket windproofer by Pro Viz. So if it starts raining or just light rain, I reach in and grab that there, or if I need high fizz, I reach in and grab that there. Then I talk about bags. This is by Arrow, um, bike packing bags by Arrow. Um, they connect a little bit differently, okay, than your traditional ones. Your traditional ones is one of the reasons why I didn't go for a traditional cycle touring setup. Um, basically, you've got racks, you've got clips, you've got your bags, you've got to clip them on. They're about a 20 liter one, 30 liter ones, you know, and you've got these clips. Now, I have traveled with people who are doing cycle touring. They're holding their stuff together with bungees. The clips are breaking and the racks are always trying to find a way to weld them, you know. So that's what's got me into bikepacking at the start. I knew that wasn't something I would want to do, spend my day trying to fix a rack. Um, also, uh, this came out last year as a Kickstarter program and it's 100% waterproof, okay. These bags are just awesome, I will just show you. Easy to take off. They do not rattle. I'll show you the way they They've got like a, a mechanism to connect. You pull this here, that unhooks it. Right, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so it's 100% waterproof. You can see the zippers. It's really clean design, very clean design. So these clip on to the front like this. You can adjust them. You can turn around and put them in whatever way you want. So you just put them in, turn them, click. You can see that's solid. That's completely solid. Um, I can adjust them and go different ways. So if I wanted to ride like that, I can, which I probably won't. But if I want to ride vertical, I can. Or if I just want to ride flat, I can. So they're very adjustable. The mechanism is just basically one bar. It's connecting with two straps. So I should, the, what do you call this uh, mechanism? So it's not like a hinge here and a hinge here, things to break. It's basically connecting with um, two straps. Um, so very little to break. Um, it's been solid so far. And very adjustable. So in these bags, I have all my uh, winter gear. Okay. Um, basically think Alaska, minus 20 what gear do you need and that's what I have in there um, it's also on the other side the other pannier is my summer gear so winter gear summer gear um, both way come in at 2.7 kilos each so the bike is pretty well balanced um, so summer gear basically what I'm riding I mean we're talking for shirts two shorts per of um, uh, Padding actually I don't need the padding. I only put it in there for the next video to show what you can do because I'm using the Inverty seat I don't wear padding. I don't use shaft cream. It's just brilliant. So that and then so winter clothes summer clothes Basically I won't touch this 90% of the time. I won't be touching this the other bag is my general bag and every four or five days when I change clothes or wash the clothes I'll be switching out so here on the rear is basically my sleep system i already have the sleeping bag in the tent this is what i need to take inside the tent um, at night time so it'll be my air mattress wash kit uh, change of clothes um, basically compression wear um, by io marina um, australian company so i've got something to clean to change into um, it's all in here and on the other side pannier is exact same size as this here but um which this is a 14 liter that's 11 liter 
This one is 14 litre as well at the back. That's my cook kitchen and my, all my food. So I can store about 10 days worth of food in there. Um, and then I have this one at the back. Now this one at the back is probably not needed generally, okay? Um, but it could be extra food for somebody. If somebody wants to go longer than 10 days and they want to carry a, a lot more food, you can, okay? Um, but for me, it's camera gear. It's drones, cameras, uh, chargers, all my um, stuff for uh, filming, which I'm gonna start doing, I'm gonna start filming my trips. So, um, this is my setup, guys. Um, this is just a general overall view of it, the short version. I will go into detail and open up each bag in my next video. Um, I am waiting for a couple of little things, and if anybody has some answers, that'd be great. Couple of things I'm looking for is a better cook set. I'm using alcohol stove for my bike packing setup. It works great. Problem is, certain countries they won't sell you alcohol to burn. Um, a gas stove. I bought a gas stove like a, a jet boil. Um, problem is with the jet boil is I can't buy the gas in certain countries, and I can't bring it on a plane, so that's out. I'm looking at multiple fuel stoves. I'm looking at the Dragon. Um, Dragonfly by MSR. If anybody has any other ideas of a multi fuel stove, let me know. So, basically, generally, overall, winter clothes, summer clothes, sleeping bag, phone for GPS, backup GPS is on my glasses, um, light, supernova, water, GoPro. Bits and pieces go in here, basically camera and a few other little things and some snacks. Tools this side, water this side. This side is my sleep system, all my gadgets, kitchen, basically food and kitchen. So that's my setup for a world tour. Um, could you do a world tour on a bike packing setup? Yes, you could. Um, could you do a world tour with a four season winter setup? On a bike packing setup? Yes, you could. Could you do it with a pack wrap? Mm, now we're getting a little bit more tricky. Yes, you can still do it. Can you do it with gadgets, pack wrap, and four season? Ah, still working on it, guys. <laughs> for now, this uh, hybrid, bike packing hybrid setup, is for me um, a nice little solution. And hope you enjoyed and look forward to subscribing and checking out the detailed list of this bike packing setup.